This is News on China in two minutes. The Solomon Islands signs a security deal with China, sparking criticism from Washington and its allies. The U.S. and Australia accuse China of trying to establish a military base in the South Pacific country. The island nation defends its right to sovereignty and says the pact is aimed at domestic security. Last year, violent protests in the Solomon Islands Chinatown destroyed homes and businesses. China publishes a document on youth on the centenary of the Communist Youth League's founding. The league has 84 million members, while a quarter of the CPC members are under 35 years old. The report highlights the important role of youth in campaigns against poverty and the COVID-19 pandemic. Growing up in relative prosperity, this generation has more confidence in the country and in socialism. The country prepares for a week-long holiday beginning on May Day and includes the May 4th Youth Day. The day commemorates the May 4th movement, an anti-imperialist uprising led by students in 1919. Young intellectuals sought new ideas, culture, and knowledge to awaken a national consciousness. The arrival of Marxist ideas in China inspired the founding of the CPC and the Youth League. A new generation of Chinese women directors are creating box office hits and advancing creative productions. Last year's Hai Mom blockbuster made Jia Ling the world's highest grossing female director of all time. Since China's reform and opening up in 1978, over 50 notable women directors have emerged. Their films cover a wide range of subjects, from wars to rural issues and reforms. News on China at dongshengnews.org.